let's talk about jujitsu coaches. Betty Potter bought some If you're looking at joining a new gym or just want to see where your current coach lies, then continue watching this video. There are many types of jujitsu coaches. Some are top level jujitsu practitioners, some are average Joes, some are traditional, some are edgy, and well, some are just straight up horrible people. In this video, I'll be reviewing some red flags to look out for when assessing if a new gym might be the right fit. First, Let's get this one out of the way. If a coach is sleeping with students or even perhaps grooming them at a young age, <coughs> then you may want to stay around 300 yards away from that facility. I can't tell you why this happens at so many gyms. Well, I mean, I think I can take a guess. Perhaps, you know, it's a power dynamic thing. Coach can't get strange elsewhere. Uh, or perhaps the coach is on death's doorstep and he's like, well, why the fuck not? I'm humping. I really don't know, but you probably should look at other gyms unless you're into training at a type of grappling brothel. And actually, now that I'm saying this out loud, that kind of sounds nice. Second, the coach never rolls with students. I think this should start blowing up anybody's McDojo reader. If a coach is not rolling with students and it's not because of an injury, then they likely have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Unless coach is John Danaher and has two knees holding on by a rubber band, then stay away. Third, they don't let you cross train or train at other gyms. If a coach forbids you from training at other academies, then he knows he's running a shitty gym. A good coach will always let his students roam free because they know that they are providing the best service. Some may say, you'd be giving away our secret sauce. This is absolute horseshit, and it's such an odd way of gatekeeping and retaining students. Like, come on, you're not working on anything revolutionary. Your coach probably just knows his gym sucks compared to others and just doesn't want you finding out. Don't let other coaches' personal issues hinder your jujitsu. Fourth, the instructor sits in the corner and is on his phone while students drill and roll. If your instructor doesn't have the decency to patrol drilling and rolling, give critiques and pointers, then why the fuck are you even there? In my eyes, you can just YouTube all the shit that he's teaching and you're just going there and it's practically just an open mat. Fifth, they always try to sell you things. Merchandise, geese, rash guards, and, and they make you feel bad if you don't buy them. I used to train at a gym that forbidden wearing any non-gym branded apparel. I get that they have to keep the lights on, but I feel it's a little obsessive when they're charging you $300, you know, every couple months to buy the latest and greatest gear. I'm sorry, I didn't come here to spend money on merch. I came here to train. Sixth, long contracts. Some gyms will make you sign one year contracts. And although this can be fine if a person likes the gym and knows that they'll be training for at least a year, it seems kind of scummy for new people because we all know most people quit after a few months and some may even get injured and have to take months off. So it just seems a little odd that they're forced to pay for months that they don't train at that gym. Seventh, this is the last one and it kind of irks coaches that charge for belt promotions. At this point, just get up and leave. Paying money to get promoted is super scummy. If a coach thinks you deserve a promotion, then you should get promoted, and that's the end of it. Don't pay for a blue, purple, brown, black belt. If your coach thinks you're blue, purple, brown, he'll give you a blue, purple, brown. There should be no currency exchange for belts. That's all I add, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have a horror story from an old BJJ coach or old gym, feel free to air out your dirty laundry in the comments, please. I would love to read some.